Now we're going to look at how to run a large language model actually on Google Colab or on your own machine. We're going to look at Llama and Alpaca, and in particular, Allura, an enhanced version of Alpaca that you can run right in Colab. First of all, Alpaca, so first of all, Llama is a large language model that is completely public. You can download the weights. You can run this locally. So first of all, Llama. It is a open source from Meta. You can download the weights. You can run it completely on your own computer. It's not closed like the ones that we looked at in the previous class, the ones from OpenAI. And we can, we can just directly make use of it. Now, Alpaca is an enhanced version of that from Stanford that has some some differences, the self-instruct mostly, that uh, I talk about more in the text for the actual class. But let's focus here on the, the demonstration that I'm going to give you where we're going to take LoRa, which is low-ranked adaptation. It's a way, it's it, it really compresses the matrices, the parameters that of the of the neural network that it is is working on. This is also used in stable diffusion to get graphics, generative graphics to be created on smaller GPUs. So we're going to make use of that. We're going to download one that's already been completely set up for that. You have to run these commands to basically install the necessary libraries in Google Colab so that you can actually run this. And then this code that you have here basically installs the actual model that, you, the, that is going to make use of your GPU and, and, and run this code. The higher end GPU that you have in Colab, the better. The A100 is recommended, but you, sh you might be able to get this running on the free versions as well haven't tried this out a lot on the free versions let me know in the comments it didn't look like it was taking a crazy crazy amount of memory when i was running it but i have not tried it on the free edition then we have a generate prompt and this is going to take an instruction so if you provide it with an instruction it is going to tell it sort of what it's doing that's your system prompt that really defines the operating parameters that you want this chat bot to, to follow. If you don't provide one of those, then it just gives it basic instructions. So it is telling it below is an instruction that describes a task uh, that, that it, would, it would like you to, that you would like it to accomplish, whether that's provided or not. And here is the evaluation where we actually evaluate it. We, we, ge we generate the prompt, we tokenize it, and then we convert it to CUDA, so it's assuming right out of the box you're using GPU. And not just GPU, it assumes you're using NVIDIA GPU, so this would not work out of the box anyway on Apple. And it generates it, and then you retrieve the responses. So if you run this one, I said write the Python code to calculate a Fibonacci sequence. And you can see it, it does give you that. But this is a LoRa-enabled model so it does not have the processing depth of the alpaca that it was actually created from so it's not quite as advanced here so i said write a youtube description for a video that shows how to use laura to run alpaca alpaca llm and collab basically what you're watching right now in this video you will learn to use laura with Alpaca LLM and Colab. Laura is an open source platform, uh, sort of. It's more of a technology that allows you to easily create, deploy, and manage applications. Um, no, not really what Laura does. Laura lets you, it reformats the neural network to be much smaller at the expense of accuracy, as you can see there. Alpaca LLM is an open source platform that allows you to easily create... Oh, okay, so Alpaca does that too. In this video, you will learn how to use Lura to run Alpaca LLM and Colab. So I basically repeated my instruction. So not, not the brightest bulb in the pack for sure, but it, it can do some neat things. Like if you query it on geography, I find it does quite good. One is the capitalist state of Florida. It will say Tallahassee, which is true. 
If I asked her what the capital of Tallahassee is, it tells me Tallahassee, which it, it should probably have called me on my trick there. Who is Jeff Heaton? This is hallucinization that you hear about in LLM, where it just kind of makes something up. And uh, Alpaca does know who I am, but this one clearly does, does not. And then we try the same example from before. Can it extract a birth date from this, from this text? John was born on this date, and he was married on this date. You are to extract birth dates from the input. Return the date in this format or none if no birth date. Response, none. So, yeah, it's, this is a lot more limited, but it's also running on Google Colab, a large language model. So, it's, it's that. And then I, I talk a bit more about hallucination because that is an important topic. These large language models are very inclined to hallucinate if they do not know the answer to something. They, they just make it up, so to speak. So, be aware of that. Thank you for watching the video. If this was useful, please give it a like and subscribe to the channel so that you don't miss the rest of this course on deep learning.